Hello everyone! This is going to be a very different video than my usual. This video is a short film by my friend Spencer Mayhew, known on YouTube as Cretaceous Cast. He may sound familiar to some of you as we've worked together before. He's a biology student in Colorado and is working towards becoming a paleontologist, like myself. He's a huge fan of Jurassic Park and wanted to pay homage to the franchise by including his own addition to the lore. I'll let him explain more about it here shortly, but make sure you go check out his channel once you watch his film so that you can stay up to date on his future projects, one of which includes a time-shifting Torvosaurus doing wacky things to people and animals. Without further ado, here's Spencer and his cinematographer, Clay Bowen. Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Mayhew. I run Cretaceous Cast. It's a YouTube channel where I talk about dinosaurs and stuff, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about my fan film, Jurassic Park 1999. It's been out for about a year or so, and uh, Destin, the runner of Edge, as you know, was kind enough to put it on this channel so that more people could get to see it. Well, I'm a student paleontologist. I've loved dinosaurs my whole life, and I've loved Jurassic Park my whole life, and so I decided to bring those two things together, and I made this fan film. And I'm also really passionate about films, so I tried to take a bunch of other things I love about the medium, and I put it into this movie. It was a real big passion project, and I put all my heart and soul into it. Hey, what's up? My name is Clay Bowen. I was the cinematographer on this project. It was a really exciting project to work on because it was super experimental. There were a lot of things that I hadn't done before. Just exploring different technical aspects that I could experiment with, along with different ways to tell the story. I'm currently working on a new project called Bygone, so you guys should keep your eyes out for that. It's gonna have some elements of this, but it's definitely gonna be its own thing, so keep your eye out for that. I have evolved quite a bit from here along with Spencer, so we're really excited to bring you the next project that we have going on. Well, I hope you thought this was a little bit interesting, and I hope you enjoy Jurassic Park 1999.
knew you'd be here. Hey, Alex. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I'm not going to pretend I don't know what's in there. Give me the embryos. No, I can't do that. The helicopter's coming soon. Once they go to the mainland, we can't come back. That's the point. It doesn't have to be like this. We could say the embryos were destroyed during the evacuation. Alex, you're a man of science. Why would you want to put back progress? Because this isn't what Hammond wanted. What did you expect when Wu was hired for the project? Hammond is gone. Don't make me shoot. You won't. Don't push your luck, pal. This is the only way for InGen to survive. All our work with the old assets would be destroyed unless I save these enemies. I wanted to understand the Raptors' intelligence. I didn't know that you could torture them and experiment on them to get the results that you wanted. They're wild animals. You can't put them under your control. There's a virus, and it's going to kill every animal on this island. These embryos are the only dinosaurs that are going to survive. If I don't save these embryos, you're directly responsible for the death of every living thing on this island. That's a risk I'm willing to take. We can't make the same mistakes that we made in the past on the mainland. The feds are already on to us. We can't keep our operations here anymore. We can put this all behind us, man. We can go off the grid. We won't have to get in trouble for this. We aren't kids anymore. This is the only way to keep the old dream going. This isn't why we came to Jurassic Park. No. No, it isn't. take it and return the keys to time, perhaps the foundation of a new empire. I can picture them moving cautiously through the dusty rooms in bulky biohazard gear, clutching rifles, pouring over our records, reading our files. Am I right, this? Tiles are cracking, smeared with windblown dirt and animal tracks. Thick tree roots are pushing up through the asphalt. The island settles itself, beginning to erase all trace of us. The technology, the real trick of it, is still in there. In a darkened room, in an empty building with a dirty floor, it waits. 
creation is an act of sheer will. And next time, it'll be flawless. <laughs>